A show of solidarity and fighting spirit. More than 500 people surrounded Tewkesbury Abbey. How different from a year ago. Then the 12th century abbey was encircled by flood water. All around, homes and businesses were submerged. But today's chain of people signalled the town's re-emergence. It's time to recognise that Gloucestershire is very much back in business. We've got the cricket festival coming up, we've got uh, wonderful events throughout the summer and uh, a great opportunity for people to enjoy Gloucestershire um, as this wonderful county. Earlier there was a service to commemorate the bravery of the town. There were prayers in memory of the three people who lost their lives in the floods. A time for reflection. Twelve months on and there are still families living in temporary accommodation here. Chucksbury's open back for business, but the big, big, big concern is with everyone around here is if it rained tomorrow, like it did last year, we'd all flood again. This is totally unacceptable. There are lessons at all levels. The lessons for government, lessons for local councils, and also lessons for all of us as individual homeowners. There are some basic things that we need to do to help secure our homes, and I hope those are learned right across the country. Whatever the lessons for the future, today's anniversary was all about recognising Tewkesbury's resilience. It was a powerful symbol of a town's renewal. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today.